you guys like Ontario because it's a big place to get through. <laughs> it takes a long time to drive through Ontario. There it is. Welcome to Ontario. And there's another sign coming up too. Just in case you missed that one, they welcome you again around the corner. I remember my uh, my history teacher in high school used to always say that Ontario. That's where I get that from. I didn't make that up myself. His name was Mr. Dowler. He was funny. <laughs> he was one of the funniest teachers. I wish I would have known now what, or I wish I would have known then what I know now, and I would have paid more attention in his classes and stuff. I was a typical teenager, thought I'd never need school. So just in case you missed the last sign, they got a nicer sign here for you. Welcome to Ontario. Just so that you're sure you are in Ontario now. Just reminding you, you're in Ontario. Where they have nice roads. You gotta, you gotta give it to them. Ontario's got some nice roads for the most part. It'd be nice if they'd share the money with the other provinces, you know, but no, no, no. For those of you who are living outside the country, Ontario is uh, home to our capital city. Our Washington DC, which is Ottawa, Ontario. It's at the border of Ontario and Quebec, but it's on the Ontario side. That's why we always bug them about hogging all the money, because you know, this is where the this is where all the politicians live. This is where all the, the rule makers and the lawmakers live. The federal ones, they're all from Ontario. Well they're from around the country, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Ottawa's in Ontario, so we like to bug them in a friendly little way. I know that the reason they have nice roads is because they got a lot of people. It's the most populated province in Canada. That's why they have more money for nice roads like this. You are very concerned, Diesel. Why are you so concerned? Mm. Well, I'm concerned, man. <laughs> I don't know why he's so concerned. He must see another... Ooh. Oh! There's a dog in that vehicle right there. Ooh. How can you see through that tinted glass, man? I can barely see that. You can just see an outline of a dog. Ooh. Eagle eyes, man. Ooh. High five. Pound it. Ooh. No? Okay. Fine then. That's pretty impressive. I can't even see him in there. He's like in the back. I don't want to zoom in on someone else's vehicle. That's kind of weird. But anyways, yeah, we're here at uh, Bobby's. Bobby's uh, Bait and Tackle or something. Bobby's Sport Shop. Your fishing supply center. Reading a sign over there behind that truck. Fuel is $1.28.9 per liter here. Times that by 3.78. You'll get the price per US gallon. Uh, we're just stopping here for a coffee, pretty much. Wake myself up a little bit. We've been driving for 350 kilometers, probably about close to four hours. There's been a lot of construction on the road so far today. Just putting my shoes on. And we're in Vermilion Bay, Ontario. How many of you are from Vermilion Bay or around this area in Northern Ontario? I'm trying to put my shoes on here. Not working very well. Oh, there we go. This is why I like to wear flip-flops. It's a little cold up here to wear flip-flops. I don't think that dog wants to talk to you, man. I'm sorry. He probably doesn't know who you are. It's a hobby, dude. It's a weasel, man. I'm just a weasel. Man, somebody thinks you want to talk to me, man. Oh, well, the CB's just hanging there. Anyways. We're gonna go inside here and get ourselves a coffee. Uh, today's sort of uh, gonna be a bit of a shorter day. Uh, I'm running low on hours in my logbook, so I don't have a full day to drive today. Actually, I do have a full day to drive. Uh, but I have limited hours to drive in the next two days. So I gotta make sure that I don't go over my hours and then I can start recapping my hours. And then I'm planning on resetting as I cross over on the ferry to Newfoundland and for those of you I know there's like like half of you don't even drive trucks So you probably don't know what a reset is it's hard to explain but I'm only allowed to drive in Canada 70 hours and seven days And if you go over that there's big fines and then you can get in a lot of trouble And 
And in order to start a new cycle, a new seven days, you gotta stop for 36 consecutive hours and be off duty, not doing any work. No driving, no like hooking up to trailers and unhooking and you know, stuff like that. In the States, it's a little different. You're only allowed to drive 70 hours in eight days and then you need a 34 hour reset in the States. But I don't know why they have the 70 hours in eight days. It doesn't even make sense. It makes it a lot harder to get anywhere. Anyways, yeah, up here we're allowed and we're also allowed to drive 13 hours a day up here, whereas down there, they're allowed to drive 11 hours per day. So I love driving down in the States because it's like heaven for truckers. If you've driven anywhere else in the world and you come to drive there, you're like, wow, it is nice driving truck in the state. Like, very nice. It does not even come close to that anywhere else on this planet. But I like driving up in Canada because it's more wild, it's more wilderness, it's more like old school trucking, you know? The way trucking used to be in the States. Mom and pop truck stops like this, gravel parking lots, two lane roads. So I get the best of both worlds, sort of going back and forth between the borders. There's good and bad points to both sides. But anyways, that's, I'm rambling on here. I need to get my coffee. Anyways, we're at uh, Bobby's Sport Shop, Vermilion Bay, Ontario. Check this out. Yeah! Apparently they're making the road wider. Nice. Well, we're just coming into Dryden, Ontario here. <laughs> That's Dingwall Ford on the right. That's right, Dingwall Ford. Come to Dingwall Ford. Get yourself a Ford to Dingwall Ford. Sorry, I <laughs> just, <laughs> I shouldn't. Uh, made me giggle in the moment. So Dryden, I have some relatives living out here in Dryden if they're still here somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but they're here. Hello. Dryden's actually a pretty big city. It's only three and a half hours from Winnipeg into uh, Ontario. That's the big mill ahead of us there. They make paper there. It's a paper mill. And that pretty much supports the entire city here. But I heard that they've been doing big cutbacks and laying off a lot of workers in the last couple of years. And it's really had an impact on the town here. A lot of people out of work. And a lot of those people have been coming to Winnipeg for work and uh, Steinbeck and you know Manitoba. So I've met a lot of people who are from here but lost their job at the mill and are now you know, scrambling trying to find something else and what else is there to do in Northern Ontario so they come to Manitoba. Nice tanker. Very nice. Okay, here on the left, there's a semi coming. It's a Volvo VT880. I love those trucks, but they don't make them anymore. And I don't know why. Look at that, it's a long nosed Volvo. Someone tell me why they discontinued that. I think it was a winner. I think they should have kept it. What do I know? I'm just Trucker Josh. What do I know? It's not like I drive these things or anything. <laughs> There's probably a good reason that I don't understand that probably makes sense. I was actually going to call it a day here in Dryden, but I decided, you know, yeah, I got hours. I'm going to see if I can get to Nipigon or Thunder Bay. A little ways further down the road yet. Probably about another three or four hours. Four hours, maybe. This is the whole town. How you doing, man? What was that, man? What was that? Did you fart? Man, my farts don't sound like that. So we are shut down here in Ignis, Ontario. Didn't quite go up to the Thunder Bay stop that uh, we were thinking of. It's getting dark. And 
I don't have to go that far today if I don't want to. Uh, I have to take it easy. Remember, I can't go over my hours. I can just make a longer day tomorrow. But uh, like I was saying, it's getting a little dark out. I mean, it's still light out now, but by the time I get to Thunder Bay, it'll be pitch black. And there's moose on the loose. I'd rather not drive with moose on the loose at night. Didn't turn out so well for me last time. So, I mean, if I had to, I would, right? It's part of the job, you just gotta do it. But uh, since I don't have to today, why risk it? Right? So, so we're gonna shut down here and we're gonna get going as soon as the sun comes up in the morning, I think. Nice and early. I don't have quite a full day to drive tomorrow, but I can drive almost a full day, which will get us uh, about one day from our destination. And then after that, I got a full day of driving again because I can recap my hours. And then I can get to my destination get to my next destination. I got, I'm going to Tweed, Ontario. Then I'm going to Pointe de la Crosse in Quebec. And from there, we're going to the island. We go from Pointe de la Crosse. Uh, that's right up in Eastern Quebec above New Brunswick, pretty much. And then you go down into New Brunswick, cross into Nova Scotia, up to the Northern part of Nova Scotia. Then you take the ferry, an eight hour ferry ride across to Newfoundland Island. Yeah, that's right. It's a little chilly out. I probably have to use my bunk heater tonight. What do you think, Diesel? You wanna go outside? No? Okay, good, I don't either. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna shut down here for the night and uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Walking a weasel. Walking, walking a very impatient weasel. Man, you in a hurry to get somewhere or what? Oh, look at those bushes over there. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> Are you coming? Are you coming? <laughs> Apparently he really needs to go to the bathroom. I'm the master. I'm walking you. You're not walking me. I set the pace. It's my job. I'm a pace setter. <laughs> he, just pull like that. he doesn't usually pull like this. It's only when he really has to go to the bathroom. I don't really want to let them loose here right now because there is a lot of a lot of drivers here. Not as many as some places. Well, you know, he would be okay if I let him loose. The reason I don't want to let him loose is it's the water and the mud. Because you know, the first place he goes to, as soon as I let him loose, if there's mud around, the mud. See, now I can guide him around the mud. But he thinks I'm just giving him a hard time. <laughs> I need to go, man. Why are we taking the long way to the grass, man? Because he's gone through the puddle. That would have been okay. My truck would not have been okay with that. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Have at it, bud. Have at it. Do all you need to do. So this is Ignis. Remember I was here uh, not too long ago? Big gravel parking lot. This is a very uh, typical truck stop in most parts of Canada, depending where you are. Unless you're in Ontario or Quebec, then they have paved parking. Are you video bombing me again, Diesel? <laughs> uh, when when was that? A couple of, oh, well, probably about a week or so ago for you, or a week or two. Uh, I didn't realize that I was editing editing it, but uh, Diesel was literally video bombing me, dropping a bomb in the back over my shoulder, right? A stinky one. Sorry about that. I didn't mean for you guys to see that, but I saw that and I got a laugh out of it, so I just left it in there. Whatever, whatever. Hey, be careful where I'm pointing the camera. See now he's gonna go back and forth and back and forth until he finds the perfect spot. So, like I was saying, yeah, this is a very typical truck stop. You know, big gravel parking lot. This is what I'm used to. We all just sort of park wherever, as organized as we can get. Some people don't get the whole organized parking thing. They just park however they want, wherever they want. But. <clears throat> At least there's a store here. I'm gonna go inside there right away, see if they got some videos. I, I need to add to my collection. I collect DVDs and Blu-rays, if you haven't noticed. I really like them. <laughs> I know Netflix is there and I don't have to buy the hard copies, but I like having the hard copy. I don't know why. Yeah, everybody collects something, or everyone needs to collect something. I collect movies, but only good movies. None of those bad movies. Well, I guess I have some bad movies in my collection. Diesel, what is it with you in that rag? Leave it alone, man. So many things to sniff. 
But anyways, guys, I know today was a bit of a short day. We only drove five hours, did my logs now, and now I am saving what hours I have left for tomorrow. I should be able to get a pretty much a full day in tomorrow. Well, not a full, full day, but I can drive nine hours tomorrow. Plus I got a fuel, so eight and three quarter hours is the drive time that I have available. And once we stop for the night, we'll probably stop in the afternoon and then we'll go to bed really early when the sun is still up probably. And we'll get up really, really early on Wednesday and book it on down to Tweed, Ontario. Tweed, T-W-E-E-D, Ontario. That's where we unload. Anyways guys, thanks for joining me today. Not much to show you because it didn't do much, but this is what I did. Take you along whatever day I, I take you along on whatever I did that day. Today I just didn't happen to do much. But hey, <laughs> at least we made some money today. That's that's all that matters. Hey guys, we'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, right? You all know that? Diesel, you're pulling me in circles here. This grass smells really nice, man. Take your word for it, Diesel. 4 a.m. Central Time, every day I have a new video up. So we'll see you then. Tomorrow, if you wanna see more of my videos, see what I was doing all the way up to a year ago, there's links in the description down below for you. See you tomorrow.